Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this week's Weekly Art Break. My name is Derek Smith, and I'm a local artist here in Orlando, Florida. Now, in this week's art lesson, it was all about color theory, and going back to the, the art block part of what I originally started these videos for. Uh, what I mean is that I really didn't have to think very much. Um, if you ever have artist block, you just you, you can't sit down and, and really you can't make any ideas come to fruition and it takes a while to get through it. But here's a way to be creative in the meantime. It turned out to be a really great lesson for my student as well and his mother was thrilled because he had this fantastic piece of art to hang on the wall and you can really get something cool out of it. Um, here is a sample of what we did. Um, so it's very abstract and the process basically is you get a canvas, it doesn't have to be an expensive canvas. Um, I prefer odd shaped canvases when I'm doing abstract just because, I don't know, it looks better on the wall for me. Um, but I picked this one up at my local art supply store at Sam Flax and it's a 10 by 30 and it cost me about seven bucks. They're always having sales. Um, I try to support local as much as I can. And then the, the different ingredients that you need are some acrylics. Um, for the student lesson, we used the cheaper acrylics, and everybody has seen these in the craft store. Um, you can pick those up really inexpensively anywhere. Uh, it works out pretty well for color wash theory. Um, you don't have to use too much water to be able to see through them because it's a lot less pigment to water ratio um, and a lot less quality. Uh, so when we layered it on top of each other, he was able to see a color change a lot more um, than for the second go round, I used um, some of the, the Liquitex. Um, it's a little bit um, higher quality than uh, an acrylic, but it's still not too expensive. And then I used um, my Golden Open Acrylics. Um, these are, again, not super expensive for artists. Um, when, what I mean by that is um, it's not the most high end, but it is really great quality and it comes at a pretty good price. Um, but I, I don't really suggest using those for that. Um, they are really, really nice pigments and a really sustained uh, suspension. And they tend to dry less see-through unless you use a lot of water. They're beautiful, but for a project like this and for kids, you don't really have to use that. Um, and then I used, pulled out some of these, and these are fantastic. These, everybody's seen these. They're, um, they come in the Christmas art kits that were so popular and everybody has like a cousin or somebody has one of these stashed in their closet. Perfect time to use it. So what we did is we started out by ripping up tape. Um, I started out with this green painter's tape, which is really great quality. But um, as I learned when I started using the higher quality paints, it was giving a texture that this wasn't sticking to very well. So I, I ended up switching to just the paper tape and it turned out really great. So you start out by just um, taking those, I ripped that up too much. By taking this and then um, I wanted, I wanted like almost leaves. And so I ripped it in sharp like that. Um, when my student did it, he wanted squares. So he just kept ripping it like that and placed them everywhere. Now the thing to think about when you're taping is that whatever you're taping down first is going to be white. So you put down all of the tape that you want, you pick out one set of colors or one color, and you paint the whole canvas that color. Then you take up maybe half of the tape, and you put down more tape, and you paint another color. And you take up half the tape, and you put down more tape, and you paint another color. And you can alternate between doing thin coats with a little bit of water in your acrylic paint and that gives a nice wash effect. You see different uh, tones and layers when one color goes over another one, it changes into a tertiary color. Um, or when you do that, or just like completely do a, uh, a thick, thick coat on it. So you've got like an opaque color. Um, either way, you're going to have a lot of fun with it and when you peel off the results, it's always going to be something really neat and really unique and it can only happen once and it can only happen from you. So try